so hello again and again i'm making a double time video just so we save space again i'm trying experiment with camera angles bear with me it's gonna get better yeah see i'm gonna grind off the excess bits grinding is something i'm i think i'm particularly good at so this is my thing i'm gonna grind off the details so it's nice and smooth the you can see the epoxy has settled in and it's quite hard now making the grind quite easier higher velocity is nice however the problem with higher velocity is that it uh, carves off the plastic rather than grinding it off so there is a lot of let's say mold lines because the melted plastic settles on the edges but epoxy is nice because it's quite hard so it's easier to grind so now we're gonna make the fit if you saw the how the fit looked like before you can see it on the other one it looks really nasty it's like a blob but bit by bit uh, as i said earlier i i tend to think of every part of the model as a ge geometrical say, shape so kind of a trapezoid thing so you remember that it's like a triangle with a cut off edge and you look for the symmetry the nice thing about necron stuff it's it's all about symmetry if you ever learn drawing you will know that the beginning of drawing is that you draw a circle very very faded circle and then you improve upon it if you ever attended some classes oh so, here i'm gonna cut off because this is a very nice cutting disc it's steel i have bought it because the original ones would probably snap when I was would be doing like this. And the holes in the middle are also giving an extra advantage. So I'm going to keep on grinding. grinding. Later on I'm going to glue the head and glue the gun. So generally that's about it. It's, it's only fine tuning of the model continuously. Every part. Some parts require a very long surface of grind. Some I'm gonna do with this. As I bought it, the name of the the tool of the of the blade was called a lens mm, lens drill bit, but I have no idea how it's in English. Generally, it's a very very small cutting disc that will get me a possibility of going inside. I am now after this. I will be removing my green stuff from all of my tools because it's stops the grinders from working correctly uh, actually water works quite well on this but remember that if you're using steel parts then the water is not very nice for it mm, hot water i hear is good putting it in sunlight if you have the time or the uv light will damage it really really badly so you can kind of peel it off mm if you have a girlfriend or a wife you can ask her for nail varnish not varnish nail this acetone it's called it's for nail varnish remover or whatever it's called it's really really nasty stuff it can even melt away your model so it's good for cleaning your tools i try to keep my tools very clean so they will last me longer i'm not always in the possibility of ordering new ones Mm, yeah so here i'm doing the knees you can see bit by bit it is good to have a kind of a model or a picture or something that will advise you how to grind it away mm. and uh, generally you have to know what you are doing or at least have a plan the problem with grinding is that you don't get a second chance you have to remold the material if you make a mistake. Uh, luckily, green stuff is cheap and the amount you're using is microscopic. So that's why I have so much left over from my projects. And as I said, the, but the substance is not my favorite. Far, far, far from my favorite substance. So, yeah, under the knees. The good thing if you're using this nice cable tighteners from some mm, wire or anything is that they come in very very thick lining yeah this this key this plastic outside the cable is thick so therefore you have a quite a long space before you reach the 
the wire and uh, you will know when you reach the wire because sparks will start frying and the sound of the drill will be totally different than the one you will be used to. So now I'm using the can shape, yeah, so I'm gonna grind away the extra bits on the legs. I'm not particularly proud of them and I will not be particularly proud of them. It's my one of the many attempts and yeah, generally don't expect a good job to be done in a hurry. The longer you take, the cheaper you can go, but then this is this, this, this triangle. You can choose either the quality, the speed, or the price. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money, then you have to put in more time to it to have the better quality. But if you don't mind so much quality, you can let go on the price. Yeah. So this is the main purpose of this video. Uh, it's very difficult for me to keep the model in the camera. You can see the bits that are grinded off and you can see that the green stuff is now sticking towards to the side of my grinding bit. So now again, my favorite part, grinding, grinding, grinding. And later on, I'm planning to use some epoxy to glue the gun. Yeah, it, it's, it's quite difficult for me to find the correct angle. Again, you will see nothing I see. So now I adjusted the camera and yeah, again, I'm going to use this shape. The sharp edges grind off very quickly. They are they cut like a knife for what you need. This is good and bad. That depends what you want to do with it. So again, you, you can recover these feet. They are not so bad. Again, if you have a friend that can mold or you have a mold, molding facility then you can mold the legs and the chest plate much quicker than i'm doing it and it requires an additional investment and it it depends on what you want yeah again for the flayed ones as you remember my last video it was not such a hassle because anyway the bits would be covered by skin here he's gonna look cleaner he's gonna look more professional so more grinding is required again we are back to the triangle of quality yeah you can either have speed you can have you can have time or you can have um, the money yeah so if you don't want to spend the money you will have to spend more time and uh, that's it yeah there's no 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 way around it cheap good or fast yeah if you want to sacrifice the quality, yeah, then it will be faster, yeah. So basically, tabletop, I think this model will be okay once I finish with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be making it as a gallery, but a nice tabletop, why not?
now I'm going to fit up the uh, gun. I'm going to choose the correct gun to the tail of the fla of the immortal. So another thing I like working with epoxy glue is that once you have it settled, it is very nicely, very strongly connecting to super glue. So if you put a dab of super glue, it catches quicker, quicker, and it also uh, catches strong more strongly. So it gives you us a little bit more leverage. So generally, uh, epoxy glue is one of my favorite materials. Again, the conical shape, I'm gonna trim off all the mold lines because, well, I have a tool for it. Uh, sometimes the knife works better and faster depending on what you need to do, yeah? So here we are, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah, unfortunately, I again chose the wrong camera angle. As I can see when, I, when I'm recording my voice. I usually listen to music and to some TV shows while I do my work. So unfortunately for you I will not be adding uh, live sounds quite soon because of copyright. I don't want to infringe any copyrights. Uh, the, the regulations are quite convoluted to me and therefore I just don't want, I want to avoid the issue, so the original sound will be always muted and I'm going to record my voice later. So don't be surprised that the speed of my actions doesn't match my voice, because it will never match it. But if you survived again so long into the video, I'm really, really, really glad. I want to thank you for attending. But, uh, and I hope you find my videos interesting. So we are now close to the end. I'm going to use this lovely epoxy. This some sort of garbage. And I'm going to apply very lots of it on the model. So it kind of will smooth out all the missing bits. Again, epoxy is nice because it settles and it can be used as this same as liquid green stuff. So it will settle inside the uh, inside of the spaces that you miss and it will settle down. So it will allow you and it hardens very hard so you can grind it off if you have a grinder. And it will smooth up, especially for the shoulder parts of the Immortals. It's really, really annoying for me that there is always a break between them. So here I'm going to use my adjusted pincer tool. Yeah, it's... I added another layer of clips. It's actually pretty cheap and... Uh, it's a very good tool to have to uh, it allows you to adjust a lot of things together and the glue settles to its proper place without you worrying about it so i'm nearing the end and once again thanks for the watch and thanks for the support see you again